club turkey sandwich. This is a uh, turkey club sandwich that has been turned into a grilled cheese sandwich. So uh, it'll be pretty familiar kinds of ingredients, but um, in a nice melty, toasty sandwich. So first off, I'm using a really high quality, locally made sourdough bread. You can also use another white bread for this. That would be fine too. But you want something that's a little bit dense and a little bit chewy that'll add some texture to your sandwich. So the first step is buttering our bread. And you want to use bread, butter that has um, already been softened to room temperature. Spread it evenly and lightly over your bread. Like I've got about maybe a, a half a teaspoon at most here. I'm gonna open my sandwich up so the buttered side is down and layer in my ingredients. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use a little bit of stone ground mustard. A light, even layer I'm using maybe a half teaspoon of mustard here. And the next step is Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese. And I like to use sharp cheese because it adds a little more a little more taste to my sandwiches. And I'm going to do one full even layer of cheddar. It's important to put the cheese on the outside layers of your sandwiches. That way when you're grilling it, the cheese melts and it will also melt in and hold the entire sandwich together. So on top of my cheddar, I'm now going to place about four slices of oven roasted tomatoes. I oven roast my tomatoes um, to get the water out for a more concentrated flavor, but fresh tomatoes are fine too. If you do oven roast it, what you want to do, slice it about a quarter inch thick, lay it out on a sheet pan, um, sprinkle a little bit of salt, a little bit of oil, olive oil, and roast it in an oven at about 350 for about 20 minutes, just until it starts to get a tiny bit brown and a lot of the water is evaporated. So on top of my tomatoes, I'm putting a little bit of sauteed arugula. I'm using arugula because it adds a nice bright green color, a bit of a, a green flavor. This is standing in for the lettuce in your traditional club turkey or turkey club sandwich. And I saute it very briefly in a, in a large pan over high heat with just a little bit of oil um, just to get the bitterness out. I'm then going to add about two pieces of a high quality smoked turkey. And on top of that, I've got two pieces of pre-cooked bacon. And I like to lay my bacon, tear one piece in half this way, so that when I slice my sandwich, I can cut it across this way and there's full baconing throughout. On top of that, one last thing is another layer of cheese. And I'm going to use Tillamook's Monterey Jack cheese for that extra goo factor. One other thing you can add to this sandwich, which I think personally find delicious, is a bit of chev, fresh goat cheese. So you can put a layer of goat cheese on the inside again if you want. And then we close up our sandwich and it is ready to cook. Here at the restaurant, the way we cook our grilled cheese sandwiches is on a sheet pan in a very hot oven. We have a special oven called a rapid cook oven, which shoots out uh, superheated air at 60 miles an hour from the bottom and the top of the oven. So it is crisping the bread from both sides at the same time while melting the cheese in the middle. And we cook the sandwiches closed flip them halfway just to get it really even and it takes about um, two minutes to cook a sandwich so. and to serve your turkey sandwich simply cut it in half on the bias here at the restaurant we serve it in a tray lined with paper and voila